morning guys or evening wherever you are in the world um i hope y'all doing well um i'm gonna do a short video because i have got a lot of questions about this thing and when i say thing i'm talking about the hang kai four horsepower four stroke engine i bought and i mean i thought you know most people that are in the boating world know a little bit about a little bit um first thing i thought everybody knew that this is a 59 cc engine it's not a four horsepower um i don't know how they rate horsepower in china um it's a little different than ours undoubtedly because it's more like a two and a half horse i thought everybody was aware of that because of the price i bought mine a year and a half ago or so on amazon my wife found it on sale for 189 dollars 99 cent um now i don't know how much they cost i haven't looked um the little motor if you don't have the money to go out and buy a mercury or a johnson or a tahatsu or whatever um it is a good motor um with a few changes i changed the prop from the nylon plastic thing that come with it to an aluminum prop um i changed the spark plug because the spark plugs that come in them are shit um i've had some carburetor issues um that being said if you are a little mechanically inclined um you can keep this thing running <laughs> And it is a good little engine to get you around on a lake or a pond or whatever. And I wouldn't try to take it up no raging river. And it's not a speedboat motor. Everybody that, that is looking at these knows that, I hope. Um, <clears throat> it is just a little motor to get you around cheaply. Um, and people ask me, would you buy it again? Yes, for the price, I would. It's less than 200 bucks, or it was. And if you'll watch the prices on Amazon, um, especially when summer's over, uh, keep your eye on the prices and you read the description because they will send you a two stroke and they are absolute crap. They ain't worth nothing. Um, which I've had people that like those. Now, that's just my opinion. I don't want a two stroke anything, they're aggravating. They're a pain in the ass, mixing oil and gas and all that crap. Anyway, um, but yes, I would buy it again for the money. However, I, I'm i still going to use it, but I looked up and a friend of mine, Chris, had a boat motor that he wanted to get rid of. It wasn't big enough for the boat that he's got. And luckily... He wanted my Colorado XT pontoon boat. So I traded Chris the pontoon for this little boat motor. It's a Coleman 2.6 four-stroke. It is an actual 2.6 horsepower. It has a gear selector, forward and reverse. It's water-cooled, where the Hang Kai is air-cooled. It has no gear shifter. It's a gas and go with a clutch in it um and the uh, coleman has a safety lanyard where if you fall out of your boat it kills the engine this does not it will keep going if you fall out of your boat um you could put a switch in line of the kill switch uh, one of the little safety switch kits you can get on amazon or well, i think you can get them at walmart but it is a good little motor for the money um and you know i get all these questions uh asking me you know this and that and the other and i try to answer them and I, i've answered most of them i think i've answered all of them but yeah if you got a little mechanical ability and you want a cheap way to get on the water and puddle around take your tool set with you and you know an extra spark plug and some pin shear pins and and you can have a good time for a little bit of money um I'm going to do a video here shortly on uh, the little Coleman, but I put up a community post that if you have any more questions about the Hang Kai engine, 
leave them on there for me. And when I get a few together that I haven't answered already in my comments, then I'll do a video answering the questions. Look in the comments on the video where I did the review. Well, it wasn't a review. It was a first look and a setup where I put the oil in the foot. The main thing I did that video for is most people don't know that when you get these, they're shipped dry. There is no engine oil in the engine. There is no oil in the foot. And if you run it straight out of the box, you're going to burn the foot gears out and the bearings. It, I mean, it don't take long. And I've seen countless people on Amazon leaving comments about the motor being crap. And, not, and it boils down to they didn't know. The company does not tell you. So they need to get off their butt and put it in the paperwork that there is no oil in the foot of this engine. And a lot of people don't know that there ain't oil in the engine. I mean, it's just a lot of people don't know. Um, but that's why I did the video was to help people understand how to set it up. And without burning it up because the instructions are crap. That being said, yes, I still have the little engine. It's sitting right here. There he is, right there, leaning on the kayak. And I'm going to keep the little engine um, because I, I'm going to use it some more. But I'm going to do a video on the Coleman shortly. Sorry, guys, I'm dropping the camera. But uh, I'm going to do a video on that Coleman shortly, too. But if you have any questions, go over to my community page and look at that and leave your question on the community page uh, post that I put up uh, two or three days ago. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. God bless you. And I'll see you on the next video.